Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to import SketchUp 3D model into Revit. Before we start, I want to, to uh, clarify these points, why you would need to know this method, even if you don't work on SketchUp. First, SketchUp 3D models are, are more widely available than any other uh, 3D models online. Secondly, is that you might work in a team uh, where there's a team member who prefers to work uh, on SketchUp for 3D modeling and then you have to uh, like combine every th all the models in one file uh, and if it was in Revit so uh, you would need to import into Revit so uh, and I also want to clarify why is this method the best one the first is to, that uh, you will get lighter model size if you use this method and the second is that it, it enables you to change the materials inside Revit. Let's start. Here we have a 3D SketchUp model. Uh, you need to make sure that all the parts are on the right layer uh, and uh, you need to explode it if it was a group. We don't need any groups. Okay. So uh, I'm not professional in uh, SketchUp, but the, uh, any, I use it sometimes, but this is what you need to do uh, in SketchUp. After you finish, you can just go to file and you need to export 3D model. You have to select uh, AutoCAD DWG and save it. This, let's save it main building. I know there's an existing one or let's say it main building one okay export now it's exported we have to go to AutoCAD and open that file the only thing we need to do in AutoCAD of course I just need this one uh, you have to select the model everything in the model and you have to keep it by layer we do so to be able to change the materials inside of it. After you finish, you just save it and go to Revit. Now you have to go to Insert, Import CAD, and find your model and click OK. Here I'm placing it manually. OK, let's go to 3D view. You need this one keep it realistic to see the materials there are no materials uh, now we have to change it okay go to manage go to object styles then you you go to imported objects and you'll find your model you have to give a material for each layer as you can see we have the same layers that we used to have in, in SketchUp you just go to the material and give it a material complete okay Anything now just for clarification Gra gravel okay gravel I don't think there is a gravel here okay let's create a material find gravel this is fine uh, and wood Click apply. Of course, I didn't give materials for all the parts, but as you can see, the wood is now wood, the gravel is now gravel. Uh, of course, I think you need to work on the scale here, and my model situation is different. But as you can see now, we have materials for each part. Uh, I think there are some still missing, but uh, I need to make sure which which one is layer one uh, because I didn't give it a name. But that's uh, everything for uh, for our video. That's what you can do to give it a material. And uh, I hope it was useful. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching.